Hello, my name is Hannah, and I am on Quotive yet again. Dun dun dun. Quizzes. You might be wondering why I'm on Quotive. Well, Quotive is one of those amazing things where it's like very good game, like very good quizzes. But like you know, and, I, and you know these are very cute. So, let's start with this one. Which seven deadly sin are you? You wake up in a very white room. It's very vast. With no one around, no door, no window, no nothing. You ha just had to dream. What was it about? I actually have a lot of nightmares. It got to the it gets to the point where it's like uh Yeah, I have a lot more nightmares, I won't lie. What's the ambience like? Focused. Now that you're awake, what time is it? Here? It's close to it's almost nine here, so but what time would it be in that room? Uh, 6 a.m. That's actually the time I wake up every morning. Are you feeling comfortable in this white space? It's a bit empty, but yeah. I like people. I like, like, very little people. You start moving around if, to see if you see anything. After a few moments, you notice an object on the floor. What is it? glass of water. What do you do with it? I take it. Suddenly you hear a loud, deep, unknown voice tells you to walk and just keep walking to nowhere special. What do you do? Sit down. I'm awful. If you chose to move, then you just finally decided to go after a few hours of waiting. After a long walk, you see six doors with an inscription above each one. Which one do you pick? The door that leads to love, the door that leads to freedom, the door that leads to fortune, the door that leads to family, the door that leads to home, the door that leads to safety. Yeah. Suddenly, everything around you becomes blurry. You feel dizzy, faint. You wake up again. Where? In your living room on the couch. Uh, in my bed. I'm on my bed now. How do you feel about the experience? Just forget it. Who cares? Oh, wow! I am gluttony! You're a shy person, but you're also a nice person. But you like food a lot. Drinks, too. The kind of person who stands by the buffet at a party. The signification. Gluttony is overconsumption of drinks and food, which is a waste. It's considered a sin because extra could go to the needy. You have powers. You can feel what others feel. It's called empathy, making you an empath. I'm lazy, though, so I probably... I prob this probably should be- if this was a good one, like, there wasn't a lot that told me I, I had to be a sloth, so it should have been sloth, but you know, I am a glutton. But yeah, that was that, so we're done. <sighs> oh no, let's look for here. We should do just for fun. Actually, go back. There are video games. I kind of noticed it as I was clicking. I have not seen all of kindergarten to answer that question.
guess the video game. Uh, how long do you know these picky characters? I'm sorry, I haven't used... I, I'm not really familiar too much with how to get rid of this. Okay, just click that. What kind of gamer are you? I actually like single player games a little more. I mostly follow the rules. Using the model of Xbox 360 gamer zone, but it is a pop. Which of these gamer zones apply to you? It's not whether you win or lose, but everybody enjoys the big game. Kick back. Pro, you ain't gonna sell anything less for first place. Underground, you aren't easily intimidated. It's not for the faint of heart. Your battle cry. Take no prisoners. Family, you want a zone you and your kids can draw. It's recreation. I do value teamwork. Do you enjoy being challenged? I do like being challenged, but like when I'm first getting used to controls and stuff, I do tend to go on easy mode. I mean, I I earned what I earned. <laughs> Yeah, those are mine. World building. Do you appreciate clear structure and hierarchies? I don't need those. To like have fun. Like I do enjoy Minecraft. For you. Where does the greatest section. Artificial intelligence. That sounds weird but like. A human being is about as smart as me. Think of it like that. A human being will always be just about as smart as you. Either a little smarter or a little less. If you are outsmarted than them, they're not much smarter than you. Think of it like that. Everybody has different areas. An intelligence is supposed to be ten times smarter than a human. Being artificial intelligence is pretty amazing. What is the sound you, you'd say or think when you play video games? I wonder what would happen if I do this. That comes in my head. I'm an achiever, also known as diamonds. I prefer points. Oh. I also got explorer. But achieve. I got explorer, I also got socializer, and I got killer. Uh, let's... I'm gonna look at explorer real quick. We got spades, has a tendency to dig around, who prefer discovering areas and immerse themselves. That's kind of cool. Anyways, let's see. Oops. I don't know. How do I get out of this? Cora! There we go. It listens. Are you a Minecraft vegetarian? Oh, veteran. Veteran. You know what? I want to see. We'll call this. That's a Ravenger. Those are drowned. How long? Uh, it came out in 2010. Yeah. That's Alex and Steve. Oh wait, this is Steve, this is Alex. That's Mojang. That's Mojang's, uh, owner, Notch. That's, that is, that's Jeb, isn't it? Probably a wolf. No, he's a sheep, isn't it? Oh! Shoot, it's the sheep that changed colors. Hero Brian. Actually, it recently beat Fortnite, but I'm guessing they mean Roblox. Oh, that's Stampy. 
Yeah, that's, uh, there it is. Popular MMOs. What's the most common ore? Coal. Yes, you're right. Four things I didn't know, but all right. That's old. Minecraft Diaries was very good. It was a series made by Afmel. Very, very good. I, I do recommend it. I'm gonna sneeze, aren't I? <laughs> there we go, I sneezed. Just Monica. Just Monica. Doki Doki character. Oh no. What kind of clothes do I like? Yeah, I like pajamas. Do you treat certain groups of people differently from others? Family and friends. Indifferent. Yeah. What club would I join? I don't remember, it's just two of those. Uh, I actually joined... I actually want to join an anime club, not gonna lie. Anyone... Someone is arguing really loudly with you about something and you know you're right. How do you react? I'll probably start crying. Take a deep breath. And walk away. You end up crying in front of your friends. What do you do about it? Try to leave the scene. What kind do I like? Food. That's not it. I don't. I don't like just junk food. I do like a lot of other healthy foods. I like to eat tomatoes as apples, so I guess sweet. You wake up. What do you do? What's the superpower? Cause depending on the superpower, it really depends on what I would do. Yeah, probably keep them a secret. What kind of super- What kind? Shape-shifting. Shape-shifting is really cool power. I'm not gonna lie. Are you a leader or a follower? I think I'm a follower, but everybody chooses me as leader. General feeling, what's the most important at an event? I don't care. Yeah, I, I guess the food. You, you really have something important to do, but you don't know how to do it. Do you do it yourself or let someone else do it? Yeah. How do you do it? I always ask how. <laughs> what kind of music do I like? I love JT music and I love Hamilton. I love Lady Gaga's uh, fashion. Uh, I love the pentatonics. So, it's just... Anything I can jam to? Can you hear me? Oh. No. Monica. We're just gonna do that one. It has the most letters. What type of books do you like? 
Anything horror related, really. Nasuki. Oh, wow. Sayori and Yuri. Poor Monica. I got very close to him. Uh, alright. That was cute. Stop it! I wonder if Hada Oni is in here. Hada Oni. So you think about, you know about Hada Oni. Huh. We'll probably play that at the end. Oh! We'll probably play that at the end of Hada Oni. Oh! Uh, I'm curious of their fanfic. Oh my god. They got Hada Oni fanfic. It's the earth. Oh, that's a good story. I read that on Wattpad. Okay, now I want fan fiction. Here's how we're going to do this. I am not going to pause. You're going to watch me. Why not? Really? Why not? I love Hitalia, okay? Pirate England. Oh my goodness. Yes! Pirate England. The hotter England. Uh, we just want some one-shots, let's be honest here. Something we can just, like, skip around if need be. Yeah, we can do Yandere. So, for those of you who don't know what Yandere is... Yandere... You probably know of Yandere Simulator. Sure. The best place to look is the Dairy website, which I don't remember, but Yandere. So the term Yandere means stab very much. Here. According to Yandere Agame Wiki, Yandere is a Japanese term for a person who is initially very loving and very gentle to someone, or at least innocent, before their devotion becomes destructive in nature through violent or brutality. Yandere is a common term for romantic obsession with the. But, anyways, Yan. Dairy means girl. Yan means stab. I believe. I believe that's how it's supposed to be. Anyways. Who's the Arthur Stella Moves? Welcome to Yandere slash Stalker Reader Inserts. I hope you enjoy. If you have a request, please let me know. This is going to be weird. But, you know. Oh, we got a Switzerland. Is there, like, a page thing? Oh, yeah. I don't got a... I don't got a Switzerland voice, but who do they got? Uh, Switzerland, Roman... 2P Romano. America, Britain, Japan, Scotland, Iceland, 2P Russia, Prussia... I can't read that, but it lo let's look at this real quick. It's 2P. So, second player, Japan. Doctor, America. 2P, Germany. 2P, Canada. 2P, Italy. Vampire, Romania. Male, Hungary. Sweden, 2P, England. New Zealand, France. 2P, Romania. Canada. 1P, and 2P, Japan. Ooh. Ukraine. 
Norway, Sweden, Turkey, Viking, Denmark, Tsar, Russia, 2P Russia, Got America, Iceland, Luxembourg, Romano, Russia, and America. Finland, Netherlands, China, Emperor of China, ooh. Requests are closed. Uh, Germany and Austria. Let's just get a taste of what they got with some Iggy Stay. Let me get my drink too. Ooh, we gotta spill the tea. I know I'm just cherry picking, but because these are one shots, they can be read independently. One shots are often independent stories from each other in, within one story. So you can have, and none of the stories usually line up unless you're that weird person who's like, Oh, America's at a party. Here's his party or his girlfriend. And then, like, Denmark brings his girlfriend. Oh, look, you see <laughs> see America's girlfriend. Who was in the other one shot? Like, you can calm down, boo. Please. But anyways, strong, brave, cocky. Arthur Kirkland simply had everything fall into his favor. He ruled most of the world as the British Empire. His navy trumped all. He had it all. Wealth, power, and fame. Any One Piece fans would out there wink wink. You're his ally at the height of his reign and most entrusted lover. You stood by him faithfully and did whatever you could as as country name. Britain's most formidable ally and lover. You loved the way your title sounded. It was no secret that Britain fell ma had fallen madly in love with you from the very beginning and you had fallen for him as well. I mean, why wouldn't he fall in love with one of the most kick-ass countries in the world? You had immersed intelligence, a fierce personality, but all of you were... But most of all, you had incomparable beauty and grace. He was certain that you were his destined love. He meant... Meant to stay by his side until the very end. However, his reign as of life has been following. Then fell altogether. America broke away, essentially betrayed him, as Britain put it. Then India, and so on and so forth, until he was left with no one but you. In his rage and fury, he lashed out at you, degrading you as your worth as a nation and a person. Still, you refused to leave him. He was too fragile, having ultimately lost nearly everything. Yet the abuse was excruciatingly painful, but he would... Always calm down and apologize for his misconduct. However, you knew the cycle would only repeat itself. Years upon mistreatment and mockery had worn you down. What was once a passionate love between the, the two of you was one-sided. He still cared and claimed to love you. But even so, you only, you only bore a strong, passionate hatred for him. Enough was enough, so while he was away meeting with his friends... You packed everything you owned and took off back to country name. You weren't being forced to stay with his home. It's more like you stole, more like you chosen to stay with, stay because everybody had left him. He had taken advantage of your kindness and used it up until now. You missed Ar the Arthur that would hold you tightly against his, your chest and whisper sweet nothings in your ear, late at night. Arthur would constantly pamper and fawn over you like a goddess. Where am I? He had been perfect. Perfect until he had fallen. You didn't blame America and the others for your spoiled relationship. Even when he was ideal in your eyes, you knew how impressive and controlling he was beneath him. Exhaling, you allowed yourself to finally cry. The emptiness hit you like a fate train. Why did it have to end this way? Sobbing silently into its tissue, you sniffled and focused on your new plans of action would be. Arriving back to your cozy two-story home was bittersweet i'm sorry i neglected you for so long you spoke to the vine running down the manor i'm here now though things are different i can't believe it took me this long to leave him yes hmm? yes i'm rather surprised as well you name 
I'm going to say that's your name because that's your name and I, I tend to say your name which is sounds like a person's name and people have told me that but you know when I try to explain stuff but you know that voice it had to be him turning around you swallowed and trembled at the sight of his fierce glare can you imagine the shock when I returned I walked in expecting dinner and I was met with an empty house and a note telling me that you decided to leave regaining your courage you fired back with an equally raised tone Yes, I can't stand living with you anymore. You're an asshole. <laughs> I've been nothing but kind to you and you spit it in my face daily. Your apologies and tears mean nothing to me anymore. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. He was silent before stomping over and roughly grabbing your wrist, tugging you towards him harshly. Take that back. He growled, tightening his hold on you. No, let go, you're hurting me. I won't allow you to leave me. You're just like everyone else. They all left me, and I thought maybe you'd stay too. Because you loved me, and I love you. We are meant for each other. Soulmates. We won't survive without each other. Arthur, you grimaced and pulled away to discuss. I stayed with you for decades, and you never changes. I wasted so much to keep you happy, but even then, I wasn't enough. You abused me in so much more, and kept me on such a tight leash. Yeah, I've never complained until now. He stood there, shaking his head in silence. <laughs> no. <laughs> he chuckled softly. I refuse to let you escape me. I'm the British Empire, your country name. We are supposed to be together forever. You cannot leave me, love. I'll see to that. His voice turning a higher pitch pitch and he lunged forward and snarled. Arthur, stop it! You cried and fell backwards as he towered over you. You don't understand. You're the only one who truly understands. I'm gonna lose and I'm gonna lose you, your name. He was full on sobbing now, calling at his face, letting out an animalistic moan. I'm such a fool. I won't let you go. Never. I can't lose anything else. You began to cry cry as well as well only this time it was in pure fear he brutally slammed you over his shoulder and marched off despite your violent protest it was the same way the whole way back in his private jet you laid on the floor with your mouth gagged and your hands bound by thick rugged rope he simply sat there while watching you with a sickening loving smile as if you were on holiday as a happily married couple how absurd when we get back everything will return to normal you'll see my dear he chipped and took a sip of his tea. You thrashed and screamed in the gag as a response. Thus the jet descended down onto the tarmac it landed with a few rough squeaks and bumps. The black Roll Royce had a black Rolls Royce had been parked near the with a private chauffeur, then nodded at Britain and opened up the door for you too. In you were thrown in onto the hard leather seats that smelled of pine saw and air freshener and tea leaves. <laughs> Ugh, my foot. The car took off and you perched on the seat helplessly. Eventually, you fell asleep against the car window. All hope was lost for you. You didn't know what time it was when you woke up. But first thing you noticed that you had been untied and strewn across Britain's king-size bed. The lights were dim and it was completely s silent until he spoke. You've been sleeping for quite some time now, love. Britain, let me go! You demanded and scrambled off the bed, desperate to, finding, desperate to find him. Hmm, I don't know. I think I explained earlier why I would do no such thing. Damn you, god damn you! I hate you. We don't love each other. I... He came up behind you and slapped a hand over your mouth. Now, I hate it when you lie like that, love. I know deep down you love me. It can't be helped. We're soulmates, you and I. Now be a good girl and I won't have to do anything drastic. Would you rather be house arrest or chained to the fucking basement wall with a shock collar around your neck? It's your choice. You breathe into your ear, making the skin... Break out with goosebumps. House arrest? You found your voice. 
speaks, croaking involuntarily. Excellent choice! But if you do try to escape, I'll be forced to restore option number two. Resort to option number two. Remember that, okay? Now, let's go back to bed. After all, it's 4 a.m. and now... As, in, as of now, and I'm exhausted. Without another word, he tugged you along the mattress, once more wrapped his arms around your body tightly. That's better, he mumbled before drifting off to sleep. You'll stay right here with me until the bitter fucking end, love. That's good. Nice. We have now a 30 minute episode with me partially reading for 10 minutes and me doing quizzes and trying to figure out how to get rid of the thing. Ah, uh, this is cool. You know? Like, I knew Quotive was known for its fan fiction. I knew it was known for its quizzes. I knew it was known for its tasks. So it's like, it's very nice. If you want me to read more fan fiction, comment down below. I will definitely read more fan fiction, but it's going to be more like towards one shots because that's usually the good stuff. I'm not going to lie, one shots are usually better than a full book. There are a couple reasons to this. Reason number one is you have to fit all that you want within one chapter. Some people are like, two shots, no, it's a three shot. No, at that point, just write the book. A good one shot is able to wrap up all loose ends in the first in the first chapter. Second off, I will not be doing lemons on YouTube. Mostly because I'm very weird about reading. Third, I'll probably only do stuff I really enjoy, like this one. Like, uh, Italia is a good one to do. Uh, I enjoy, uh, I'll probably do some, like, Overwatch, uh, you know, games like that. I do, I do have games I enjoy. Maybe I'll do some YouTuber stuff. I'm not really into the YouTuber scene, but I can do some YouTuber ships. Anyways, that's all for, I guess, looking at qu Quotive. I guess this is a Quotive look through. Don't forget to like like the video at least because believe it or not vi liking the video actually tells me if you want me to do more stuff like this so thank you so much for watching my name is hannah and i'll see you all next time bye